Hello YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Me Build 2348 in VirtualBox. Now, I've been uploading these beta builds recently of all these different operating systems, and I'm trying to go in order from the beginning to the, um, uh, I don't know if I'll re do the uh, release to manufacturing builds, of course, are the final uh, build releases of these operating systems. I'm going to try and go in order all the way up to that point. Um, I might miss a couple builds in here and now, um, but I'll try and get as many in as possible. But I'm going to try and go in order of the Windows Me builds, Memphis slash 98. Um, I'm hoping to do some Chicago builds if I can get those to work. And then uh, you saw the Windows NT video that was uploaded just a couple days ago as my last video. So I'm trying to go in order um, with all these operating systems. So. Um, Let's go ahead and begin here. There's going to be some links in the description for VirtualBox, WinRAR, and then there's also going to be a link in the description for the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO, and there will also be a link in the description for the Windows Me 2348 ISO. And I'm going to try and do these without having to upload VHDs um, if possible, but if I have to, I will upload virtual hard drives just to make it easier, but it just saves me from having to upload that, and it takes time to do that, and it takes up some of the you know, data I use for internet and everything. So, um, those are all be in the description. The BIOS date will be in the description as well. And um, the product key uh, should be on the OneWorld site. Uh, if not, I will put that in the description as well. So, let's go ahead and open a virtual box here. We're going to go and uh, create a new virtual machine. We're just going to call this Windows Me Build 2348. Go ahead and click Next here. Leave this at 128 megabytes, click Next, and we're going to create a virtual hard drive and click Create. And now uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Settings, go to Storage, then go to the empty disk and insert the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO, click OK, and then go ahead and click Start. And it's going to start up and do the MS-DOS um, operating system here. and what we need to do is we're going to need to do a couple things here. We're going to need to change the date and we're going to need to uh, do the formatting of the C drive again. So um, let's go ahead and do the formatting first. So just type in F disk, click enter. Now we need to create a DOS partition. So choice number one, click enter. And then we're going to need to create a primary DOS partition, click enter to do choice number one. Leave the option here as yes, click enter. Now it'll say system will restart, press any key and it will restart into MS-DOS and now all we need to do is format the C drive by typing in format C colon click enter then type in Y for this click enter now it's going to format and then you can just click enter for the volume label and now we can change the date after all that formatting has been done so type in date and then the date you need to type in is 08-03 1999. That will be in the description if you guys cannot read this in the video for some reason. And now we can finally boot into the Emma, or, uh, Windows Me um, ISO here. So um, should be called like Millennium 2348 uh, ISO or something. So now we need to go to the R directory for the ISO or it should be anything up there. And then um, if you type in dir, it'll have one directory, which is the Win9x directory. Type in cd Win9x, click enter, and now you need to type in setup. Click enter, click enter again, and it's now going to go into the setup of Windows Millennium. And this, of course, again is build 2348. So this is part of the developer releases of Windows Me. So it will come up. With that boot screen, it will say developer release in it. So here it says, welcome to Windows Millennium Setup. So this is perfect. You are at the, um, I'd say you're kind of on the home stretch here. There should be no more problems after that or anything to do. So click next and then accept the agreement and click next. And now it's going to ask for the product key. Now I'm going to type this in here um, in the video. So um, if you guys cannot read this, this will be in the description as well. Um, so there it is. You guys can pause the video and type that in if you need to, but, uh, the product key is right in here. If you guys, uh, hopefully can read it. If not, uh, just let me know and I will put it in the description. Go ahead and click next after entering in the product key, go to the, um, 
leave it at C, uh, Windows for the directory, click Next, and now it's going to check for installed components, and um, then we can continue with the uh, next portion of the setup after the disk space check, and just leave it a typical for this, click Next, and then we're going to type uh, any name here, I'm just typing in Windows user just in case if I have to include a VHD, click Next, and then uh, install the most common components, click Next, and then uh, we're going to click Next here, and then select your location, click Next, and it'll start creating a startup disk, but then it will come up here, just click Cancel on this, and then click OK on this window, and now you can click Finish, and it's going to start copying files over um, and installing a Windows Me build at 2348. So this process can take a little bit of time. Just sit back, relax, and um, Windows Me will install. So I'll be right back once we restart. All right, so it is finished, and uh, it'll say <coughs> setup is ready to restart your computer. Go ahead and click OK, and then restart now to restart. It's going to restart the machine. There you see it said <coughs> Windows Millennium Developer Release on the uh, boot screen there, and it's going to set up some hardware now. And uh, this process can take a little bit, so I'll be right back when we restart yet again. So here we're ready to restart again, so let's go ahead and uh, let me disable mouse integration since it's being funky. Click Restart Now. It's going to restart your machine. And it's now going to look for some more hardware, so I'll just let this do its thing, and I'll be right back. As soon as I did that, this came up, of course. Um, so this is the correct date, uh, August 3rd, 1999. So now you can click Close on this, and it's going to do the rest of... Uh, this on the right over here now it's going to update system settings so I'll be back uh, when that's finished and if any windows like this pop up during setup uh, just click close on them and that should have been the only one that pops up so go ahead and click restart now and it's just going to restart for the final time and actually boot up into Windows Me for once so it'll say continuing to load windows and you see in the bottom right here it says Windows Millennium 2348. Go ahead and click OK to log in. Going to load up a couple things. And there we go. We are logged in to Windows Me Build 2348. Now, um, I don't know if you're able to get the sound driver to work on here, but, uh, other than that, uh, this is the uh, installation for Windows Me uh, Build 2348. So that's pretty cool that uh, that worked. So, um, yeah, it doesn't look like the sound will work unless you want to like mess around a little bit and try and get it working. It's kind of, uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a mess around type deal to do the uh, sound but sometimes it just kind of depends on uh, what you try and do but um, yeah so that's the video tutorial on how to install Windows Me Build 2348 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Comment your ideas down below and do not forget to subscribe. Once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.